Good morning. I'm out just outside Glacier National Park. This is the middle fork of the Flathead River. And um, since I don't have Wi-Fi, I'm back doing natural um, backdrops, which the water here is phenomenal. So I'm gonna turn this just for a minute so you can sort of see just how magnificent this river is. Okay. This is the Middle Fork of Flathead River. Okay, so I get distracted with nature. It's just hilarious. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to talk about this, um, the idea here that the full moon last night, lots of energy, lots of things going on, right? <laughs> um, mild C-class, couple of M-classes during the week of solar flares and this geomagnetic storm system that just kept pummeling us over and over and over again throughout the week. Now, I had this, um, whew, I had this video last week, which was called Disturbance in the Field, right? You know, like what happens when the flares affect your field and you're like, whoa, what is that? And, and I like that because it means that something's affected me, something's affected um, my feelings, what I'm noticing, what I'm feeling, what I'm reacting to, right? And one of the um, women who follow me on um, YouTube wrote a comment that I thought was just profound. She said, I really feel assaulted by these flares. And so the topic for today is assault, which is a really violent term. It's also um, holds a lot of the energy of I'm, I'm, I'm a victim, I'm out of control. And I wanna, I wanna take that and hold it and nurture it and play with it a little bit because it makes sense to me that that is a very natural feeling that we're having about these flares, right? So number one, um, we have an energetic antenna, right? That scans and picks up and informs us at all times as to what's going on. That's Chiron. That's why you see me do a lot of information about Chiron on a regular basis. So when we take that energy antenna and we break it down, then it means, number two, that we are reading people and places and rooms and energies as children in order to survive, in order for safety, in order to understand predictable patterns, to determine people we can trust, people we can't trust. So our nervous system with this energetic antenna starts to accumulate a lot of data and reactions to our, within our nervous system to this person safe. Oh, when this person does that face or they raise their voice, I know I'm not safe anymore, right? And so you're like, whoa, okay. So as children, we learn how to use these antennas, this, this field, this energetic system of ours to read people, places, and things. Number three, we have reactions to those inter external um, actions around us. So our nervous system creates and prepares us when there's anger in the house, when there, you know, my example was growing up with a little brother who was very close to my age, who was angry all the time, who would blare um, heavy metal music. And when he saw me, he was like, hey, fucking bitch. And, you know, we were just, it was, hard. It was antagonistic. It was evil so many times just to be in the house across from this pummeling that came in. So, so what your nervous system does is it learns to just go like, you know, this is safe and this isn't safe, right? So our, when it prepares us for something that hits our field and then we have an energetic reaction to it, right? So that was number three is that we have actions reactions to external events. I love the birds in the background. Number four, we grow up with these embedded reactions to those external, to that external energy. So whether it's anger or fear or protection or avoidance. And so my invitation to you is to sort of feel into that and go, which ones do I have? Do I get really small? Do I get really big and defend? Do I disappear? Do I um, start to get really nervous as my anxiety go up? Like find out for yourself what is affected when this external disturbance happens, right? And so, you know, let's, let's transfer that feeling over to 
the idea that when things are unpredictable and they're invisible um, and, and the energy hits our bodies, we can feel that very same reaction, whether it's real or not. Um, you know, go through psychology 101 stuff and whether we are actually hit as children or we remember as adults being hit, we still have the same energetic response. So this is our, the intrinsic way that our nervous system protects us. So we can feel like the, the, the solar flares, this pummeling of, of energy that's coming at us can feel like an assault. It makes sense to me. You know, we are being pummeled and I've heard terms, I'm being pummeled. It's like, I, it just doesn't stop. There's no letting up. Um, and, and it can affect our internal balance. It can affect our ability to cope, right? All of these things start to sort of add up that if there's an invisible um, uh, change in our energetic field, we can go into old patterns of the victim, old patterns of feeling hurt and assaulted. So when this triggers the victim energy, and you know, you can say, oh man, this is happening to me. I feel out of control. I feel um, afraid. I'm energetically feeling old pains. Everything's up and this is a very uncomfortable time, right? And I want to say by design because the flares are flushing out. They're opening up old densities in our body, old places where we've stored in our lifetime, in previous lifetimes, in our genetic lineage hurts and memories into our DNA. So these flares are frequencies that are clearing out our DNA, our systems. And so, you know, it, it, oh, does that feel familiar? Like uh, on, on edge, agitated, scared, being pummeled by energy. You know, are you in reaction? Are your defense patterns up? You know, what are you noticing around you? Are your pets chill? Like, like it could be really intense out there in this river and the birds and nature just continues to be really soft and easy. And I'm like, this is, this is interesting. However, I'm living in a community, a working community with 47 other people. And that may not be the case there. There's agitation, there's defense patterns up, there's loneliness, there's isolation. Um, for you, look closer to home, your kids, your partner, your colleagues, what are you noticing? What are you noticing as these um, invisible flares hit? So I have five tips for you today and then I'm gonna get out and uh, maybe show you a little bit more of the river, maybe not, we'll see. Number one, in order to address the invisible flares, I have found that it helps to put them into a, a mental context, context or a physical context. And so, uh, I, w I took my car to the car wash yesterday and noticed like, oh, this is really good because you put your car, you drive up, gets on, it's a really fancy one, right? You get on the tracks and you have to put your car in neutral, right? And then the car just gets grabbed and it starts down into the car wash. You can't stop it. You can't get out. You know, you're, you're in that car no matter what happens. Now, there are times with the windows rolled up with this beating on the car, the water, the brushes, the, 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 the fabric um, spinners, right? Where, or the blowers, where there's just so much noise and it's really hard. Like my granddaughter hates the car wash. She gets really scared inside of it. And I'm realizing we're out of control. We can't stop it. And yet at the end, when you pull the car out, it's absolutely sparkly clean. And you're like, okay, that wasn't so bad. And you know, if we can envision, that's, you know, like find something about the solar flares that you can, can envision as positive, right? And enjoy and partner with like, oh, I'm going into another car wash. It's going to get loud. It's going to get noisy. I'm going to have some agitation. It's not going to feel good, right? And then at the end, when it leaves, you feel a little bit lighter, a little bit sparkly, and you might be exhausted, right? Number two, um, address the fear and reaction, you know, like whew, when it comes up. Okay, so something's going on with my body. There's been a disturbance in the force. 
I'm gonna breathe, I'm gonna relax my body, I'm gonna open myself up to some of those really heavy, high frequency changes that are cleaning out my energetic system. I'm gonna surrender. Listen to these words. These are words that have been in our social media for like 10 years. Surrender, let go, relax, lean into it, right? Partner with it. Find out how to just sort of surrender and, 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 and be in it. Number three, actively, consciously take your victim energy and shift it and transform it by doing something like stepping forward into it. So kind of like, okay, so this is hitting me and I'm feeling, oh, I'm feeling nasty. I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling a lot of different things. And then you go like, wait a minute. Let's grab it and bring it back in and I'm okay. This will end pretty soon. This is not gonna go on for 24 hours. This, or maybe 36 hours, right? Um, I'm gonna be okay and partner with it and do this sort of move forward into it hourly, daily. Make sure that, you're, that, you, that you are actually acknowledging that the field is moving and that you're okay, okay? Um, number four, find ways to celebrate that there's frequency updates going in. So like um, for me, I come out to places like this. I might bring my journal, I might bring um, a cup of tea and just sit here and sometimes watch the paddle boarders going down the river, um, watch the kids jumping off the bridge because they all jump off this bridge in the summer. Uh, take a walk, um, lay in the grass, uh, put your feet in the water. If you have a creek or a river or a lake next to you, go put your feet in the water. Um, talk to it, um, ask it, hey, what's going on? I'm feeling it over here this time. This is different than what it was last time. So talk to it like it's an invisible friend, right? And notice what's opening up around you. Like yesterday, I took a girlfriend and I went up to Glacier National Park and we were sitting at the shore of Lake McDonald. And, you know, we were talking about the flares and we were talking about the intensity and we had seven butterflies, huge, big butterflies flying around us and landing on the towels and noticing, you know what? You know, they're not, they're not as freaked out as we are. So let's just follow that, right? And number five, Ooh, have compassion because we are all learning ways to address these energetic shifts. We're learning ways to sort of look at this. We're learning how to address the changes and we're morphing into something new because we're cleaning our systems out. So our tastes are going to change. Our interests are going to change. Our relationships are going to change. Our desire to the work we do, the people we love um, or partner with, the way that we raise our kids, all of that's changing. So have compassion for change because change is always going to take us into a new form. So for today, that's all I have for you. Um, I will see you next Sunday, hopefully from another beautiful spot that I can pre-record or record in and then launch. So um, full moon yesterday, make sure that you put some ideas out there of like, this is who I am. This is what I want to be. And I'm going to take this off and show you, this is the old bridge that used to be the entrance into Glacier. And this is the middle fork of the Flathead River. So have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. Take care.